Yep, so my session was on uh, antibody repertoires, past, present and future. Um, really just talking about what's happened over the last 30 years in terms of antibody repertoires, uh, phage display libraries, transgenic mice, what antibodies have come out of them, how many are in the clinic, how many are now on the market, and then making some observations as to why that is the way it is, and then maybe thinking about the future a little bit. What could we do differently? What could we do better? That kind of thing. Uh, I think the big trends in the industry are now looking at the targets. So, you know, we've got some great technologies, I think, um, you know, lots of different ways of making antibodies, lots of different ways of making them better. But I think one thing we haven't done so well is maybe come up with a, a great range of validated targets to make the antibodies too. So I think we're going to see much more work in terms of preclinical and clinical validation of targets so we can really make some antibodies that are going to make a difference for the patients. Big challenges, I think there are lots of different um, antibody approaches. I think choosing the right one is important. Um, I think finding an area that is um, sort of unique and where you've got a real competitive advantage is not easy. Um, and as a pharma company, I think also, you know, we can pick and choose a little bit who we go with and choosing the right partner is clearly important because once you've hooked in with someone, you're kind of stuck with them. So getting it right first time is important. Yeah, well, I think, I mean, this is the meeting. I think it's in its 25th year. I've probably been to about half of those right the way back from some of the first ones. And it's grown and grown and grown. I mean, it is the place to find out about antibody technology and antibody engineering. I don't know of any other meeting that's got the breadth of topics that this one has. Um, it's always good to connect with people who are experts in the field. They're all here. Um, so it's, it's a really good networking opportunity more than anything, actually. And I think the sessions that you have, it's all, it's all in. You know, you can hear about everything with the parallel sessions, the keynotes, what have you. So it's, um, certainly it's, it's good. And of course, next year it's going to be in San Diego, which is also a great place to be. So I think, I think um, what's really great about the posters we have at Antibody Engineering is, again, the, it's the breadth of, 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 of things. And I think it's not often you get to meet the younger scientists. I think what's really great about the poster sessions is you get to, you get to talk to them. Uh, they'll ask you questions. You ask them questions. It's great to see all the new stuff that's coming around and about. I think there's quite a lot of posters this year, um, probably more so than there have been for, for many years, actually. And that's, it's really great, especially to have a drink in your hand and just go around and talk to the folk. It's, um, it's, it's almost the, the best bit of the meeting, especially to meet the younger scientists, because I think it's really encouraging to see so many, so many young people coming through into the, into the field.